to be competitive in today's world, one has to invest in efficient and effective processes. And technology here comes in handy. How important this is and what some entities have done is the focus of our next segment. Over the years, technological innovations have transformed the way we live and it has certainly upscaled the efficiency of the industrial world. In the 1980s, due to high overloads and destructive resonance from the power lines, scientists developed the capacitor bank, which was later developed and refined further to what we have today. A capacitor bank is a group of several capacitors of the same rating that are connected in series or parallel with each other to store electrical energy. The resulting bank is then used to counteract or correct a power factor lag or phase shift in an alternating current power supply. Their main purpose is to primarily improve the power factor in the network. So these are capacitor banks. They are called capacitor banks, this and that. So we have what we call power factor in three-phase energy. Power factor is the, is the ratio of the energy you are using to the ratio of the energy you are paying for. So when, you, when that ratio is bad, it means you are paying for a lot of energy and when you are actually using less. So to correct that, we installed two capacitor banks. This is 300 kV and this is 400 kVA. So we managed to improve our power factor to 0.98, 0, to 0 uh, which I think we have right now. So it means we were, we were paying for a lot of electricity, but we reduced that. Any business running on high-end machinery like small-scale manufacturers need a capacitor bank to help monitor the power usage in relation to what is paid. If you decide to run a factory without a capacitor bank, this is what you're likely to face. So before cleaner production came in, we could not bother much about capacitor bank when it broke down. So we realized after the lesson we have got from them, we realized that we need to repair this because every man we could pay a reactive charge, some good million of shillings. So we found that within a year we paid around 24 million as a reactive charge to the Omeme people. So we found per man we were paying 98 million. Improving the power factor also means a high power transmission capability and increased control of the power flow. The benefits of its installation are great, reflected on the cost reduction. So with the, when we replace all the capacitor, by then it was not indicating the 0.9 watt, find 0.52, 0 0.1. So reactive charge was very high. We pay between 5, 7 million, 10 million. Every month we got a big improvement. From 98 million, within a period of 3, 4, 5 months, we found we have reduced our spending from 98 to 54 million. Actually, in 2016, before we installed them, we used to, to produce 1.5 kilograms of made tea per kilowatt hour of electricity. And currently we produce 2, two kilograms of made tea per kilowatt hour of electricity. Numerous technological advancements will continue to come up and SMEs in this digital revolution need to leverage more on these advancements to be competitive. The project Switch Africa Green Demand Side Management of Energy Use. This project mainly as its main objective is to reduce the, the energy usage in the manufacturing sector and the general resource efficiency and sustainable consumption and production uh, in manufacturing sector. Today, the capacitor bank is a big box filled with small capacitors connected together. But tomorrow, innovators may downscale this equipment to a size as small as one foot with sophisticated functions and efficiency.